when I was your age, there are things I feel people your age do. And I'll just be sharing five points, five major things that is my letter to people your age. First, your dreams are valid. Dream wide. Now, I used to have a problem with with sharing the things I wanted to be in life with people or with dreaming wide generally. I want everybody here to know that your dreams are valid. And don't be afraid of dreaming. Don't be afraid of stretching your horizon. Number two, diligence pays. Diligence pays. I've seen this work in my own life. And I want it to be registered, even in your subconscious, that it pays to be diligent. It pays to put in the work. It pays to be dogged. You get me? It pays to be diligent. It pays to be hardworking. That's basically what diligence is. So diligence pays. So, and you know, sometimes it looks like diligence does not pay because you have you ever, have you, has anybody, has anybody, I'm sure people have the experience of reading for an exam and the exam didn't go out well, right? You don't have that experience. I might be the only person that has that experience. I have that experience, and that experience can be discouraging, especially when you have that experience consistently. I used to be an average student. I struggled with average for the most part of my secondary school life. So I know what it means to be a mediocre. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now I'm telling you that diligence pays. It pays to be diligent. It pays to put in the work. The third is be courageous. Be courageous. At this point of your life, I'm sure there are people among you that struggle with inferiority complex and shyness. It's normal. There is something you have to offer. Ground your ground your identity in something in something that is concrete. I'm a Christian. I ground my identity in Jesus Christ. You understand? So it helps me speak up. It helps me take on life. So have something with which or inside which you ground your identity such that you can face your world. Because at the end, you may not know as much as the person that is bolder than you. And that person might go farther than you because you are shy. No matter at this point of your life to shy about things. But now your identity is something concrete. Fourth is um, your background has no say in your future. Your background has no say in your future. Now your daddy didn't bring you here with a car. Has no say in where you are going. And you should know this. You should know that wherever you are coming from, it does not affect and should not affect your capacity to dream. Your background has no say in your future. So, whether it was Gary you drank at home before you came here, it has no say with who you are going to be, or where you are going, and where God is taking you. The fifth is education is expansive. Education is expansive. So, education is beyond what happens in your classroom. I should say, you learn everything. So be conscious about learning and be open to, to learning, be open to, to educating yourself, to self-improvement consistently. Because education is beyond what is going on in your classroom.